We are coming. Day after day, we are coming. All right, we're back. Circling back podcast. Coming to you live, Watch Media HQ. My name's Will DeFreeze to my left. The master himself, David Ruff. All right, I'm going to do it, Will. I'm going to do it live on the show. I'm going to take it off. He's doing the thing. I'm going to remove the app. I'm removing the app. Why don't you just leave it? Just kidding. I'm removing nothing. Am I crazy for deleting the app every what? year and then re-downloading? No. What's the point of deleting it? That I don't need it on my phone for another year. Yeah, but it, it's not doing it's not doing any harm just sitting there. Nah. Nah, I don't need I don't need some golf. I don't need oh. some golf tournament app on my phone 24-7. Is it taking up too much space on your phone? Oh, do you not have the gigabytes to sustain something oh, like no. that? Are you talking you to yourself? Bigger plan? Oh. Mr. Dewin Shiver we in the building. Man, what a day it is. Not only is it content week, but we're also doing real or fake pre-workouts today. And your boy is psyched. Been you've planning been, this out for a week now. I was going to say, you've, been, you've put more into this than uh, anything I've seen in a long time. I had some help from my, my dear friend Randall behind the booth over there. It's going to be a fun day of content, everybody. Just wait. Randy, do you have a good birthday weekend? I had a great birthday weekend. And as you know, I stay strapped in the office now. Brett, what, I think, led the charge of getting me a sword, and I'm so happy. Oh, listen to that click. How, how real is that sword? Yeah. Uh, this one is not as real. It's Could you get in real. trouble if you get pulled over and that thing's in your, like... Better not. This is Texas. Is it sharp? It, it's not super sharp. I mean, I could definitely kill someone that's pointed enough that I could stab. I can impale someone with it, but I don't think I feel like I'm really slicing someone. This one was only, like... Uh, it was under two hundred dollars. Do you impale anyone on your birthday weekend? <laughs> um, this one was under two hundred dollars. The first booth we went to was like real actual swords that they forged themselves, and they started at the lowest at three k. So didn't get one. Who is your swordsmith? Oh, is there some famous swordsmith that, that you maybe have pulled? I don't know. I was just curious if maybe uh, Yoshihara Yoshindo did it. It was not Yoshihara Yoshindo. I, if it if it ain't a Yoshihara Yoshindo, I don't even want it. Get it out of there. What's the one from Kill Bill? What's that dude's name? Yeah, Bill. David Carradine. No, the guy who makes the swords. You know, David I don't Carradine remember. passed away, right? I do. How? Uh, <laughs> How? He was he was masturbating while choking himself, and he died. Yep. Yep. Or choking himself while masturbating with a pulley, a rope and pulley system. Yeah. He had devised to. He went too hard. He was trying to edge death, and death is not to be edged, my mm-hmm. friend. I, some will say that he is the realest of beaters. <laughs> well, I yeah. mean, while, while talking swords and everything, uh, Dave, can I get your review of Shogun Season 1 uh, as you're five episodes in? A Tori Hanzo. That's the... Yeah, there you go. I love that you're sneaky a Kill Bill guy. It's so good. How are you feeling about Shogun, Dave? Think we can shame Dylan enough to start watching it? it feels like he... Sh- we don't even have to, like... If you're not watching it by now, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a chance to earn uh, my business. I haven't seen people clamoring about a show like this in a while. It, I know there's I, a lot of clamoring. I'm enjoying it. There's many things uh, within the show to like. I'm gonna check it out. Many things. I kind of want the uh, all the the English dudes to uh, just start like a footy team and start like playing over there. Yeah, I don't know if football had been invented yet though, because it's like 1600. You know me, I'm not a big history guy. Somebody was playing some version of footy then, right? I don't know. I don't know. They probably like got like some like lamb's intestine and like blew it up into a ball and like threw it at each other. Yeah, the the origins date back over 2000 years. Wow. Ancient China, Greece, Rome. China. Sorry. It's fun to say. Wait, what did you say they were playing with? I'd like lamb intestines. Yeah, How far could you kick a lamb intestine? Yeah. If it's inflated with air and it's like the the same weight as a soccer ball? No. no? Like it was just ripped. Do you, think, oh. do you think you could punt a soccer ball further than me? I just had intestine. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not great at punting. I'm not really that good either. It wasn't a skill that I needed, so I didn't. I didn't hone that in. I don't think I'm very. I don't think I punt very far. I would really get into one, and it wouldn't fly. Like you know, you see a an, an NFL punt, and be like, man, what's what am I doing wrong? See, I w- I've always had a dream that like NFL punting and special teams will get so advanced that they get to the point where punters are kicking it out of the air. Like the long snapper snaps it to them and they just punt it from there. So it never gets blocked. <laughs> uh, wow. We need that kind of efficiency. Hmm. Wouldn't that be kind of sick? I don't know, man. Won't, wouldn't get blocked. I, I, yeah, I guess you're right. Do you remember uh, Do you remember that sorority? That, uh, cunt punt? They were threatened with the, uh, oh, yeah. the devastating sea punt. By remember the cunt punt? No. I I by one really? Was this a TFM thing? Oh, yeah. It was the most viral story that TFM has ever done, I think. Really? Yeah. It sounds familiar. And then no, Bro I don't Bible, totally remember. Bro Bible hired her. Yes. That's true. Uh, Randy, I looked up whether or not it's legal to carry a sword in Texas, and it says, while swords are not directly mentioned in Texas's weapons code, they fall under the category of location-restricted knives since they measure more than five and a half inches long. Yeah, I got one thing to say. Come and take it. Rebecca Mortensen. Mm. And what Mar- happened Martinson. to her? What happened to her for anyone that doesn't remember this viral video? Um, it wasn't a video. It was an email she sent to her sorority sisters. Oh, yeah, 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 and, yeah. And they were not <clears> – <throat> it was rushed or something, and they weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. So she threatened all of them and said, I will cunt punt you if you don't do whatever. Okay. It's all coming back to me now. Yes, I do remember this. It was great. That line was actually used in the interview with James Franco and the other fella. They, they stole that line for that movie. That's a good hat tip. I, yeah. I think James Franco was a big TFMer back in the day. He would submit a lot of one-liners. <laughs> you think so? Mm-hmm. 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 Such a good good movie, by the way. Weren't they calling you James Cranko? Yeah, they were for a little bit. Just a little bit, though. We are coming. Who is it? Day after what? day. Is that the we what's his face? are coming. The guy with the weird mouth? Davis Clark. Yeah. Weird mouth? Davis How about Clark, a strong dude. jaw? He's got a weird mouth. Davis Clark. He's a dog. Some facial hair would do him wonders. He's a Lego. Yeah. <laughs> like he he's like he is. He's not like your stereotypical Lego, but he he's a Lego guy for sure. He failed his uh, exam the other day. Yeah, yeah. It's tough. But he's out here grinding, dude. He doesn't have to go to work on Monday. He gets to go to work what was on his Monday. Exam? He's gonna lock back in. His uh like his third exam for some kind of No, it was his uh, series eight. I don't know. CFA. Oh. I don't even know what that means. Dude, we're smart. LinkedIn. Chick fil A. Listen, I'm a podcaster. He failed yeah. the Chick fil A exam. <laughs> Chick fil A exam. What is that? That's one thing I've never failed. <laughs> Just a minor setback for a major comeback. <laughs> what is a CFA exam? Uh, the Chartered Financial Analyst exam. Which, mm, I still bro. think Chick fil A would be better if it didn't have waffle fries. Oh, wolf Green fries. Hey, we failed that exam. We got our charter pulled. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Are you guys not going to compliment my master's quarters? Uh, it's like, very I'm nice. master's it's logo guy in the it's studio swag. right now, nice. dude. It's swag. You've never, I, I never knew what it felt like to just like, I received my master's package when we had left town and I was so excited to get home and rip that thing open. I didn't try on anything in the actual store. And so like take it, ripping that open was like better than Christmas. Can you even try stuff on in the store? You can, but like it was one of those scenarios where they have a bunch of mannequins with shirts on them. And so you walk up and say like, I'll do a medium and number 14. Yeah. And then they put, they put it down in front of you very nicely, but like you feel kind of guilty with all the people behind you waiting and it's in like the nice plastic packaging. You can't just like rip it open and take your shirt off right there. There were people in the, like the, the dressing room and I was like, you guys got to chill a little bit. Like there's golf to be watched. Like hooking up. Eh, what if we kiss in the master's changing room? I'm still waiting on my vest to get here. I ordered that vest that uh, J Day was wearing. Dude, he was getting too much flack this weekend. No, he wasn't. No, he, dude, he was. He, he wasn't getting fired. enough. He looked fired. This I, the dude. only questionable choice was the vest. Friday, he looked like a total idiot. Well, Augusta, no, Augusta asked him to take the vest off. You know, I would have uh, not taken it off. He, he, he was probably okay. He probably committed to wearing the vest because, like, obviously, Malbon was like paid him a bunch of money. When he was asked to take it off, he's probably like, "Oh, thank God, I, to, I can take this." Like, they didn't even off. ask; they just like, yeah, he just he just made that. No, up. no, they just told me. Yeah, I just had uh, Ridley just came over and told me I had to take it off. Yeah. Rids, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I thought Rids. he looked good, dude. I like the baggy pants. 
You would. Well, here's the thing. Like, all the other guys are just so boring. Like, we got Spieth out there wearing, like, a, a tropical Ugh. print uh, polo with a at and T logo on it. Can like, not come talk on. about Spieth anymore? Come on. I'm just, he's, what a disappointment that dude is. I thought bad. Tiger looked good in his Sunday red, though. No. A little sweaty. Not good for the moisture wicking. No, uh, no, no. But no, I'm I'm not talking the actual Sunday red shirt. I just meant like oh, his yeah, line yeah. of clothing. I was very I was I like, okay, I really like this. I like his pants a lot, actually. Yeah, he looked good. Subtle little Sunday red on the like on the ankle. He looked cool. good. Should we actually since I just want to talk master stuff, should we just do this weekend in fun? Yeah, let's get in. All right, let's do it. We are coming. It's the third time. Day after day. We are coming. Coming. Bro, let's go out this weekend. There's a crazy event happening. I like to turn up. Bro, 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 there's a crazy event happening. I like to turn let's up. Let's just go have fun and let's go with it. David Ward Bros, let's go. Recapping this weekend in fun presented by our friends over at Roback. You know your boy was wearing a Roback polo to the Masters. Speaking of material that actually knows how to wick moisture. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Big time. <laughs> Love Roback. Go get Roback. They've got so much stuff on there. They got the God Azalea collection still busting right now. They got the green tea hoodie. The blue bonnet, baby. It's blue bonnet season here in Austin, Texas. Hey, they have they just released swim trunks, by the way. Uh they're dope. Yeah. They're dope. Yeah, and something tells me they're gonna dry a little bit faster than Tiger's shirt. Uh, I would think so. A little faster than Tiger's shirt. These sunrise active shorts for the ladies out there or the men who just want to show some leg. Honestly, these are gas. I might have to get these for Sally for her birthday. The looper shorts also gas. Medley swim trunk. These guys are firing right now, whether it's polos, hoodies, tees, Q-zips, gym shorts, they're golf shorts. They got it all. Please go check out our friends over at Roback. We have a new code. New code alert. Washed 20. Washed 20 for 20% 20 two, off. Two zero. One time use, please. One time use code. Load the car. I made messy on my shirt. It's okay, man. A little spilly? A little yeah, spilly it, for it, D-Man? This, didn't, this wasn't wicking moisture. Some of, that, some of the spit from your big hooter you have in it fell out what happened yeah my big old rhodesian rig ridgeback that i had in there speaking of rollback it's a mm -hmm. tie-in mm -hmm. yeah it's good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. added value 20. send me free stuff they do literally like almost weekly at this point about we're, those getting, head covers. we're getting giant packages from rollback we're gonna talk about those head covers i saw so much rollback at the masters i was so happy like the boys are just busting right now yeah they had so many azalea prints out there that people just like, I mean, going all in on the Masters. Swag. It's a beautiful thing to see. Dylan, what did you get into this weekend? Let me start Friday. That's usually where the weekend does start. Well, uh, Parks had a baseball game, and he hit a walk-off single to win the game. Were, were there just limbs in, in the air just going crazy for it? Here's the thing about it. It, it was um, a really exciting moment that was kind of ruined because, all right, so he hit, he hit the ball, a lot of cheers going on. And then it went silent because two <laughs> – I don't mean to laugh. Two guys that were going after the ball collided, and one of them was injured pretty badly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, dude, I recorded the at-bat, and it's it's kind of funny. The kid's okay. Okay, good. The yeah, kid's that okay. Was, that was going to be my question. And I was like, oh, I should stop recording because it was – like coaches like ran over to the kid. Meanwhile, the so, game's so, over. Like, did he pimp so it? Park, so Parks didn't take his helmet and throw <laughs> no. it in the air. <laughs> the game's over. Like, Park won the game, and I'm like, Sh can I celebrate or not? Like, what's yeah. going on here? So, yeah, like, dude, <laughs> it was kind of funny. So those kids made it about themselves. Yeah, yeah. Parks just uh, no, dude. Bodies. If you get injured on the last play of the game when you're getting walked off, you have to stay on the ground so they can't celebrate as hard. It's a really savvy move. But the kid, he left the dugout with just the biggest smile on his face. I was very happy, very proud moment for his old man. Uh, big moment for him. You need he to go oppo. He needed it. Yeah, with the oppa? It was a, it's like a, no, well, it kind of, yeah, kind of went oppo. Was it seeing us single? Uh, no, it was a, he hit it in the air. What I like about his at bats, he's really just working the count. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that coach better be on his shit. He'll take a pitch if it's not in his zone. No, he, he knows where his zone is. Yeah. And he's, if he's got his little sweet spot. You don't want to let him get in his zone he's either. He's making good contact. I'm trying to work. Oh, he's he's swinging a lot of arm. He, I want him to throw those hips in. And really, he go. doesn't chase. That's I what I like really, about his mm -hmm. swing. I want him to really. He's a dog. Mash the ball to the to the left side of the field. You want him to pull it? Yeah, he's just kind of just. He'd make a good call. His swing has gotten so much better since the first game. I'm happy for him. Anyway, Saturday another game, another dub. Back to uh, back. I was ask, better ump this time or same ump. Okay. 
the same up has been there for every game so far. Did he not take any crap from anybody? <laughs> uh, no, there were no controversial moments. In Let's have one. the ump on the on the pod. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, so what's it like to get berated by a bunch of parents? Yeah, another game Saturday, another dub. Went to Barton Springs, got a little swim off. That was dope. That was cool. That was fun. I think I think twenty summer twenty twenty four might be the summer of Will going to Barton Springs more. You haven't been, right? No, I've been before. Oh. I just it's not it's not in the rotation. You haven't been. I've been. Oh. It's not in the rotation for me. Like I wish I went more. I'm gonna start putting a, a swimsuit in the old work bag. I got to walk there from my place. Kind of sick, dude. That's what's up. I don't know. It was nice, man. So that was cool. And then uh, Parks had a birthday party Sunday. He took him there and had a meanwhile brewing. Had a couple couple frosty boys with the parents. They got some good beers over there. That's a cool place. I've got a Barton Springs question. What's up? Do they still have the diving boards? Oh, yeah. There's one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been there for like 70 years. Nice. Same one. Yeah. They probably tuned it up a bit, but it's... Dude, Dave, they named this uh, Juicy Double IPA after you. I know. It's called a Double Dip. I'll be there Saturday. Maybe I'll have to uh, rent it back. Quadruple dip it. Wow. Okay. Do you have, they have a Japanese lager there? Look at this. Uh, I was drinking the Tender Robot Hazy IPAs. Did you get one of those? No, I just had a couple Pilsners. Okay, Tender They're Robot. Good. Okay, I didn't. I didn't branch. The out. robot is tender. The robot has emotions. And that's that's my weekend. It was pretty chill, pretty fun. A lot of baseball, a lot of swimming. Just you know, vibes. Are we in the best weather stretch for Austin right now? Is April May like the just the goat? <laughs> it's been it's been really nice. What that boy yeah. get into? Dude, I just I just watched the freaking Masters, bro. Dude, like all day. Dude, the freaking Masters. Yeah, I was freaking dialed, man. Oh, Dylan, what was your what was your setup for the Masters? Do you have any hummus? I, I didn't. I just I didn't have a setup. I just watched it on my couch. Okay. Had a no. I had a oh, I had a um, red stripe. How about that? Taste of the islands. Yeah, eleven point two ounces in a bottle. I'd love to see it. I noticed you showed us the photo of you um, not at home watching the Masters yesterday. What time was that? Mm -hmm. What's that timestamp? Not at home? What, what? What? Yeah, it looked like you were swimming because you were super shredded in this photo. You showed us a photo. Oh, that was sa that was Saturday morning. Oh, okay. 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 Interesting. Uh, the Masters watching was interrupted by this birthday party I had to take Parks to yesterday. I would have skipped it. Other than Dylan, that. Dylan told us the before the episode that he wasn't sure about posting a photo online because he looked, quote unquote, too shredded in it. It's which, true. At which point I realized that Dylan and I have much different strategies of posting to Instagram. It's true. It, it's... Uh, I don't, I don't want the I don't want the chatter to be about about my shreds. Dylan, you know? I've never I've never once looked at a photo of myself and thought I don't know if I can post this. I look too shredded. It look, it's it's it'll be too braggadocious. If You're I in your humble it. era. Yeah, thank that's you. big of you. So dude. I'm gonna keep this in that's the holster. Big. For that's now. big of you. But if I'm having a, if I need to be gassed up one day by the by my people, I might let, I might let it fly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just know that if Dylan posts a one where he's just absolutely shredded, he's just trying to he's down bad. Yeah. yeah. So just smash now. that like button. Yeah. Gas a player up. Add me on the group. Add D Shivery. You want to know what I did on the weekend, huh? Everybody's wondering. Well, I started Shogun, first of all. And I am five deep. Thank you, Randy. Um, it's I'm very happy to be in it. It's it's very good. I'm watching it on Hulu, which I realize I don't pay for the premium. So I'm getting the, oh, the comms. Yeah. That you, it, that shows that you're not in Love Island season right now because yeah. you can't you cannot do commercials during Love Island episodes. Otherwise, I'd probably probably be caught up. How many episodes have been have dropped? I don't know, seven or eight. I'm yeah, sure. I got I got some chopping to do before before uh, people start spoiling stuff for me. Luckily, I'm, I don't know any of the character names, so it's hard to spoil. I was going to say I'm loving it. Don't ask me who my favorite characters are. Don't ask me. I, I I'm just enjoying everything about it. I understand why they do this in the show, but does it ever throw you off where they are speaking and there's the interpreter? And then they just abandon the interpreter and just like start speaking English and Japanese to each other. A little bit. It happens a few different times. And I'm like, for continuity issue, like reasons, I understand why this is happening. But also, like, we're kind of ignoring that, you know, there is a language barrier here. I'm I'm liking it so much that I'm reading recaps after each episode. Just uh, to make sure because there's something that happened in one of the recent episodes that I was like, wait, what actually went down there? But I think I'm gonna go with the uh the oysters, clams, and cockles route. Starring Ross Boland and uh, Barrett Dudley. Their podcast? Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't done an OCC season in a minute. 
and uh, just because they've been watching stuff that I haven't been, and I think it's time because I, I think I think I, I I'd rather hear them mansplain it to me than yeah. me uh, reading a recap where I'm still confused. Yeah, thank you, Will. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna check that out too. We had Ross on last week. Fun times. <sighs> I wish I could have. I had a lot of questions for him regarding the rap beef, but it's no, it it doesn't seem to be going away. In fact, it keep it. It seems to be getting more complicated and convoluted, meaning like people are doing AI versus. So people will be like, new Kendrick Lamar, Drake this leaked, and it's fake. But it's obviously it's the tech is there to where it sounds real. But Drake released a, a real one, right? Yes, he did. But like today, this morning, Kendrick, Kendrick was trending. So you look at it and there's like these body accounts with like fake one. It's, it's very sketchy. You got to just wait. You got to find your sources and stick to them. Um, but yeah, it was a big, big golf weekend. We had T-ball uh, Saturday morning. We got an email Friday night from the coach, um, the assistant coach, the guy who's – so it's kind of a, a two-pronged attack. We've got like the baseball coach who's like – he's great, but you know you can tell his thing is like I'm going to teach them the actual mechanics. Then you have the other guy who I think has been like a, an educator of some sort for 20 years, and he's more of like the teach the kids and have fun. The word of the day is enthusiasm. You know, that guy. Well, that guy was out, so they needed coach, uh, parents to help. So I, I dipped my toe into coaching Hell yeah. on Saturday. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's yeah. go, Dave. And Let's go. You will not believe coach Ruff. what drill I got to uh, coach. Oklahoma drill. It was not the Oklahoma drill. <laughs> <laughs> I, got to, uh, I got to teach the, uh, the, the most important thing with hitting. Second. Squ- squish the bug? Squish the bug. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. How many times did you say that? Uh, a number of times. But I got to say, I was so self-conscious like – because, you know, so my group, we split the team in half. My group, I, I went over with Rhodes group, and that's where they were. And, um, you know, there's five other kids over there. And I'm like, okay, I'm trying to not focus all my attention on my son. Trying to, you know, give oh, yeah. my limited, zero expertise, really. Yeah, you can't show favoritism. But also, I'm aware that the parents who are right behind me are, like, all watching. And, like, all, like, I'm, you know, waiting for me to slip up. They're all great, but I'm just like, do you worry about swearing? Yeah, like just just like letting out one damn it, dude. I'm a oh I over buddy. Oh I, yeah, I'm way too much. Oh, good swing, buddy. Hey, good try up top, buddy. Especially if you don't know their all their names. You I know, don't know any of them. Call names. them all, buddy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Did you wear the baseball uniform? No, I didn't. Oh bummer. <laughs> bummer. <laughs> no, no, I did not. Um, I didn't. But I did overthink what I wore because I knew I was going to be in the spotlight a little bit. Yeah, I knew I was getting to share it. Uh, it went well. You know, squish the bug is it's a it's a tough technique to teach three, four and five year olds, but they got it. And then we did our little uh, practice game. Not going to believe it. Rhodes two for two off the tee. You just love Oppo? to see. It. You love to see it. Um, he's really pulling the ball. Did he squish okay. the bug? He squished the bug. That hot corner better be ready when he's up there. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, he's facts. ripping it down the line. Huh? Yeah, he trends third base. That's so. good. It was fun, man. It was a, it was a really good it's time. It's tough to make that throw for his age bracket, so it's a really good call from him. Yeah, you know, it uh, typically there's like one kid on each team who can like throw the ball like anywhere in the vicinity of it, and uh, sadly that's not him yet. But we'll get there. Uh, Saturday, man, just just hung out. I did something. I ordered uh, I ordered some food from a place that I've been waiting to try. Tell me it's barbecue. It's not barbecue. Fuck. This place has a lot of hype coming into uh, Austin, Texas. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's very hot. It's Hattie B's. I finally had Hattie B's. Hot chicken, a Nashville hot chicken. I don't know how people in Nashville view it. If it's like the, uh, I don't know, uh, Lou Malnati's or whatever of Chicago, where it's just like kind of touristy. Like the Torchies of Austin. Mm-hmm. But it's here, and I ordered it, and I wanted to try it. And I ordered a half chicken. I ordered like the third hottest. I had some fries. I had some black eyed peas. Let's get it started. Ha. It was just fine. Really? Really? What? I like tumble better. Did man. you need to not get it delivery your Probably. first time? I'm not. Look, I'm not. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm you're, just I'm putting it out there. First thing Alyssa said, and I think it's that is the ultimate point to make is that I did have it delivered with priority. Not right. to brag. Okay. 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 I normally don't talk talk What's about the damage on something like that. Two ninety nine. Okay. Probably worth it with fried chicken. Uh, it's right down the street. I will try it again, and then I will make my final ruling. But okay. through through one, one time through the order, 
I'm a Tumble guy. Hey. Tumble is a local Austin hot chicken place, probably modeled after Hattie B's, but I enjoy their chicken more. But there's probably no better time to go to the other, you know, competitor because I think everyone's going to Hattie B's right now. You're right. So like being a Tumble guy is actually a blessing hey, in disguise. Absolutely. That, that one tenny that Randy brought, Randy and Will, sorry. I, the lack of credit that I'm sorry, getting Sorry, I corrected. Is crazy. I corrected. Brought me back was gas, man. I ordered it with my mouth. I paid for it with my company card. And then before we walked in, Thank Randy you, said, let me carry that. And then he handed it to you. I'm sorry. I did correct it. I'm sorry. God. Was it a fat-ass tendy? It was so It good. wasn't as fat as your dips, but it was pretty fat-ass, yeah. Had a little, little pickle sticking out of it on a toothpick. Ooh, they do the little toothpick Ooh, with the flag. flag. Yeah, it's cute. It is cute. Maybe Ooh, that's why I liked it so much. It really sold it for me. No, mm -hmm. it was good. Really good. So what was your master set up? Did you order any food for that? Hattie B's. Okay. That was my Saturday. Oh, okay. So Alyssa took Rhodes to a birthday party. I was home on Sam duty. Got Sam to take a nap. Just went to town on Hattie B's. It, look, I ate it all. It was it was good. I just, I want more and I'm going to give it another shot. I, I apologize to all the Hattie heads out there. Mm -hmm. I will give it another chance to earn my business. Uh, Saturday night, man, we had UFC 300. Well worth it. You had fights going from like five till midnight, really like 1230, just fantastic. And then yesterday, man, didn't really, uh, oh, got up, yard work. It was a big yard morning, mowed the lawn, edged as I often do, um, rolled don't that right into Masters. It was delightful, man. And you asked, Will was Will was uh, actively seeking Masters uh, setup aesthetics. Mm -hmm. I wish I had something to say. I got send nothing you. in that group chat. Dude, it was... It was like a silly putty on the table, a Yeti, and then like um, a Spider Man doll. On the it was just there was a lot. I get it. None of it. None I of it, it lent itself to to anything. I just possible. want to see what the boys were doing on the couch. You yeah. Know? Well, don't ask Randy that question. Yeah. He did some edging this weekend too. What? What? <laughs> Thank you. I was in San Diego, California, home to the Padres and. A regular marine layer. Um, we had a couple's trip. And for those wondering, yes, uh, I did make custom merchandise for the couple's trip. Uh, this is what I can bring to your golf trip if you have any guys out there that need an extra. Like, I do this kind of thing just in case, you know, you need added value to your stuff. Um, have to say, the last two times I've gone to California, I've had crap weather. Yeah. Like both times, I like this weekend was not that bad, but both times it's like, oh, I didn't come here for clouds and cool weather. I came out here to get in the sun. Can't complain though. It's had a blast. I'm extremely sore today from pickleball. My lateral movement is just absolutely struggling. Um, but I made it home yesterday, sat down on the couch, watched the Masters. Uh, I did something yesterday I haven't done in a long time, and I don't really have much of an explanation as to why it happened. I shed some sports tears yesterday. What? For Big Vern? No. It was like completely – I didn't even want Scotty to win. I was on the Homa train all day. Scotty's walking through after winning the Masters, and he's walking up to the clubhouse, and he kind of just does like a double-handed face wipe and looks like he's overcome with the moment. And suddenly I just started crying. Is it because you are a, a, now a father and he's about to become one? Maybe. Yeah, that definitely had something to do with it. He He's a good dude. He's just a good dude. And like – like, I don't know. I think I have more of a connection to this Masters because like of the practice round, but like – I don't, I, out of nowhere, I just started crying and Sally was Aww. asking me for help with something. I walk in to go help her and she was like, what? are you okay? Well, it's like, I don't know if I am. I got a little choked up watching, uh, listening to Vern's last call. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah. that whole, I thought they handled that really well, uh, outside of the <laughs> behind the tree photo. That yeah. Is, it's one of the funniest things that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> was he like leaning against the tree? I don't, what was it? What was going on? He was probably there? blasted a sig behind the tree. That's where he was seated. I don't. I don't know if he does his call from there, but he, he usually does a call from up in the yeah, the, the perch thing. He was down there. He was down there on the grounds, barefoot, having a glass of Josh, Josh probably. So I've been doing a wild boy move lately. I did this for dinner last night. Um, I've been ordering three crispy beef tacos from mm. uh, Tex Mex restaurant named Maudie's. And instead of making, they don't make the tacos for you when you get it like that and get it to go. They just put yeah. all the ingredients in there and you make it. So I've just been dumping it all in a bowl and chopping it up. And it's like my favorite meal right now. I love their beef. You're such a Maudie's head now. Dude, shout out to all my mod crew. It's so good. 
You used to hate it. I know. I still think it's. <laughs> I still think it's bad for certain reasons. But like, um, I'm just. I'm addicted to it, dude. I had one single margarita last night, frozen. Um, and it put me in a good spot. Fell asleep watching some soccer highlights. It was a beautiful thing. Mm. I can't watch Shogun in bed. I'll fall asleep no matter what. Yeah, that's a tough bed show. It's a. It's a. I have to sit upright and be like aware of everything. But I'm a big fan of Shogun, dude. Fine, I'll try it. Just live up to the hype, man. I watched what Jennifer did last night, the Netflix doc. Have you seen that one? No, what's that? Ooh. What's that? This woman, this, not a woman, she's like a young lady, lives with her parents, and intruders come and kill the mom and shoot the dad in the face. And, uh, Is this a real thing? Documentary? Yeah, it's a doc. And she's in, getting interviewed by police, the whole thing. Anyway, I won't spoil it, but okay. it's, it's okay. Okay. It's just okay. She's a lady. Oh, oh, oh. She's a lady. Let's hear from our friends over at Indochino. You guys know about wedding season? Yeah. You familiar with that? We're right, oh, on, the, right yeah. on the precipice of it right now. I've been saying for a long time that I need to uh, re-up my suit game. I've been wearing the same two suits for the last couple of years. I've been thinking that, too. And weddings are all about the bride and groom, but they're a chance to look your best, too. With a fully custom suit from Indochino, you'll walk into wedding season looking like a million bucks, even though they start at just $4.99. It's easier than ever to be the best dressed with Indochino. You can order custom suits now that are ready for wedding season. You don't want to be the guy just showing up. I mean, I... You know, if if you're if you're shopping off the rack, you're shopping off the rack. But if you can get a custom suit for as little as four ninety nine, you're gonna look so much uh, separated from the rest of the group. I recommend doing the um, the appointment where you go in and get measured for everything. Mm -hmm. They keep your profile on file there, so every time you want to order a shirt, it's custom made. And they already have your measurements there. It's so convenient. I'm going to gas Dylan up a little bit. Thank Dylan you. did something pretty sexy with his uh, custom shirt. He went with the white on white monogram on the cuff. You don't see that. It's tasteful, but also cocky. It's subtle. It's, it's, that's a tough line to tell. It's baller. It's bespoke without the premium price tag. Like I said, they start at $4.99, and you can get fitted shirts at $89, and you can even do it from your home. So if you don't have a showroom to go to, you can set up the measurement profile on their website and choose customizations without ever leaving the house, and you can book an appointment at the showroom near you and let Indochino Style Guide walk you through every single step for that premium in-person experience. Look your best this wedding season at the table or on the dance floor when you wear Indochino. Go to Indochino.com today and use code STEAM to get 10% off of any purchase of $3.99 or more. That's I-N-D-O-C-H-I-N-O.com. Promo code STEAM. Oh, is it time? Oh, it's time, my friend. Hey, you better you better bring it right now. Hit the, the intro music for me real quick. We are coming. Okay, that's the wrong one. Day after that's the right day. One. <laughs> that's the wrong we one are coming <clears throat> all right it's time for real or fake pre-workouts that was a really bad drum roll I'm yeah sorry. that was that, I, I that, kinda, that didn't have the hype that I hit the mic on the way i hit the mic as a whole thing anyway. hit the gong randy okay. you know it's banned i'll hit it for this one i'll allow it i don't love it but i'll allow it. we didn't have a retail therapy episode last week so the gongs the gongs needing some love so we've we've done this segment uh, two other times in the past and uh, had a lot of fun doing them. So, what is real or fake pre workouts? Well, pre workouts are uh, you know it's a it's, a, it's a thing you take before a workout, as the name would imply. And is it I, made out of pre? Yeah. And collagen. The branding for these typically gets a little wild ass, a little aggressive. Oh, um, yes. For example, <laughs> the one that I use is called Total War, and I Whoa. love it. I, Topical. I they're just, they're pretty aggressive. And so I have compiled a list of real workouts, pre, sorry, real pre-workouts. And uh, Randy and I also wrote some fake ones. And you guys can try and guess which yeah. ones are real okay. and which ones I, are fake. I, not only did y'all write some fake ones, y'all have been giggling back and yeah. forth for the last seven days. We've had fun. It. I was I was largely uh, outside of the office last week, and I, I came in today, and Dave said that Randy and Dylan were just giggling together, making their pre-workout stuff. And it made me really happy. So yeah. I, I, hat, hat tip to whoever sent me one of the real ones like a week or two ago. Is that what got you on the train? It got me on the train. And I realized that there are so many more out there that I was unaware of since the last time we did this. I came up with a list of 44 real ones that are like usable names. Okay. I'm not, we're not going to do that many. Uh, we're doing 18 total. Okay. So okay. Uh, there are many more left on the shelf for another day. 
But have okay. you tried any of the ones we're about to talk about? I have not. Okay. I have not. I think no. you need to try all the real ones. I've been using Total War for a long time now because it's, it's my favorite. What I've would it across. take you to get off Total War? Just one of these companies being like, hey, we heard you talk about our shit. Yeah. We're sending you a huge thing of it. I would I would enjoy that quite a bit. The last time we did this and we got we got pre-workout sent to us, I started taking it before working out. And like I I I didn't like the way that it made me feel. I'm down to half a half a do- <laughs> half a dose now. My the, ears the were on tingly and I was like, Am I gonna just... fall? Uh, am I falling over at any point? Did you get the, the ear? Yeah. The ear itch? Yeah, I was very confused. Yeah, it's, and I texted I texted someone in the middle of my my Peloton ride, being like, "Oh, this is happening." They're like, "That's normal." Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm ready to go. If you guys, I'm are. ready. I'm I'm very ready. <clears throat> Randy is gonna assist me. We're doing some slides as well. So if you're watching on YouTube, you can follow along. YouTube.com/slash Circling Back. <coughs> Love to hear the people of Premiere try to guess as well. Uh, oh, and you're keeping score, correct? I'm keeping score. Yes. Yeah. If you're in the Premiere right now, mash that chat button. <clears throat> Okay, we have, like I said, we have 18 total. I will not tell you how many are real and how many are fake, because that might help you at the end there. But uh, you ready got, Ready to get into it? I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Randy. All right. Cool. Real crack. or fake pre-workout. The first one is called Cannibal Riot. I cannibal love that band. Riot. A cannibal, of course, um, implies that you eat your own species. That's what a cannibal is. Mm. Ooh, mm-hmm. Gross. And a riot, like, you know what a riot is. Didn't you say you're a bigger fan of the other kind of riot? Cannibal Riot. It was more of an organization. Wasn't a riot. Is the name Cannibal Riot. <laughs> they wanted to call out a riot. But a I real or a fake pre-workout? Uh, uh, I think it's real. <laughs> I'm going fake. Dave said real? Yeah. And can I give you a reason Randy, why? Randy, are you keeping score? Uh, uh, Dylan will be. Yeah, tell me why. It's just fucking sick, dude. <sighs> Cannibal's rioting sounds scary as fuck. I like, just know you like I like I know you like the idea of Cannibal Corpse, and so I think you started with that and okay. which, and and did this. Cannibal Riot is a real pre workout. Oh yeah! Oh wow! And they hit him with the NFT looking gorilla on the front too. Yeah, Randy is is even yeah found the the actual images here. It's to a go really good PNG it. you found, yeah. Randy. Cannibal it's Riot quality. Yeah. It's a real pre workout. Don't know how good it's that It's gummy one is. bear flavored. I always love, so does that mean the gummy bears are eating other gummy bears? You know, gummy bear is, a, is I've learned, is a popular pre workout flavor. I actually have the, the total war I have currently is gummy bear flavored. Uh, the one that I did was gummy bear yeah. flavored. <laughs> Cannibal right. What sets this apart? What's their selling point? I, I didn't get into that. I just, I, I saw the name and Let I. Let me guess, I, they have a proprietary blend? I'm sure they do. Mm-hmm. The, the, yeah. Honestly, these are probably all the same. They're all the same shit. They, yes. All that matters is which one will give you heart palpitations. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, which one will give you the, the most tolerable heart only, palpitations. Only the good ones. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one is simply called violence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm go- uh, Violence. Is violence a real or fake pre-workout? I'm going to go real. Okay. I would take violence. I like that idea. I choose violence. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, is violence a real or <laughs> fake pre-workout name? Well, Dylan, I think it's real. Violence is a real yes. pre-workout. Oh, oh that shit. Guy, geez, I don't know. We had fuck? Lucifer, jacked Lucifer on the, the screen. It's called violence. I mean, I get it. Like, I would absolutely take something called violence. Mm. Well, read the four things I like that the it branding of this, too. Yeah, it's kind of sick. They're what, all kind of sick. Energy, power, focus, and... Gains. Gains. It's the, good. The flavor is brutal blood orange. Dave, you said real, correct? I did. Okay. Do these companies have... I don't need my blood orange is brutal. Do these companies have do you? graphic designers or do they just put all this in AI, in like an AI program and just have it spit out the labels? Because this is a trash. It's a good question. That, that Yeah, I don't this, know. This stinks. This is a bad... Like the first... The, the ape was cool. This is no, just No, the ape aggressive. was not cool. The ape was giving Bored Ape Yacht Club. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes. We want the, the third one. Cut. Third one is called Death Toll. All right. I like the idea of Death Toll. I like the idea of it. I'm worried that it's fake, though. Is Death Toll a real or fake pre-workout? I'm going fake. There's a line somewhere. You might know where it is, Dylan. (laughs) And I think this crosses it. That's why this is fake. Yeah, can you put death? Can you call something death on, on like, pre-workout? You think this crosses the line, but you said real for Cannibal Riot. Well, the cannibals were just rioting. It didn't say how they were rioting. Yeah, they can riot. But they eat their own. Yeah, but I'm still confused whether or not the gorilla was eating more gorillas or the gummy bears were eating more gummy bears. Yeah, hard to say. Gorillas eating gorillas is scary as fuck. Yeah. 
You so don't want to be anywhere near that. You're saying fake? Yeah. This is a fake pre-workout. I feel like you can't put death in something that you p- give to people. Well, death toll, you're the one doing the killing. Okay. But well, what is it? What would okay. the... The other two, it's like, okay, I kind of get it. That's how you get amped up. Death toll, it's just... Is it giving you the energy to just go out and put up a big number? Like, what is the, what is the deal? <laughs> I don't know, Dave. <laughs> yeah. How many how many bodies can you stack when yeah, you take this? I'm just trying to go hit chest. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? I'm just trying to get yeah. a little pump in. I don't yeah. want to kill yeah. anybody. Like like I, I, I'm just trying to get away from the family for a few minutes and get in shape and you know take care of yeah, myself. I, and I, I got these two kettlebells <laughs> from COVID. Like I just want to go out in the garage. And I'm just trying to tone up for the summer. Like I'm yeah. out this year. I like Will's uh, logic behind that. A cannibal doesn't define them. They could just be like a painter. They're called cannibal painter. It's like they don't. They're not necessarily eating people all the time. So just the rioting. They have so they're, just, they're not actually cannibalizing things in that moment. They're <laughs> yeah, just they're, they're just, just cannibals rioting. who are rioting. Yes. Okay. Or gathering peacefully. Let's move along if you guys are ready. Okay. The next one is called Stars and Pipes. Ooh. Stars and Pipes. That's got to be real. That's got to be real. Is Stars and Pipes a real or fake pre-workout? Is this sold on DonaldJTrump.com? Ooh, if this is not real, this needs to be. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, stars and pipes. Stars and pipes. It's got a, you know. I'm going to say this is fake, and I don't, I'm because I'm not willing to give the industry credit because this is too good. I it's like got, the idea of a patriotic pre workout. It's, pa- it's got that patriotic vibe to yeah. it, you know? Yeah, it's frat. So, Dave, you said fake? I think it's fake. Stars and pipes is a real oh. pre workout. And that's exactly what the label needs to look like. It's yes. perfect. That's it's a good perfect. label. Like, I might try this. Oh, I see it's a. Uh, Made and distributed by America Labs. America, no A. <laughs> Dude, some... it's a. It's a high explosive pump agent. Yeah, that's what in, you need. In the freedom flavor. Yes. It tastes like freedom. Again, what is the uh, what sets this apart in the uh, ingredients? Uh, again, I, I didn't get into the ingredients it's of all proprietary. of these. It's Like I said, there were 44 real ones I compiled. I didn't, okay. I didn't check out the ingredients of all of them, David. America Labs with a Z is so bad. America Labs. All these pre-workouts come from some type of labs <laughs> thing, like insane labs or something like that. It's, it's dude, I don't yeah. think it's a real laboratory. It's <laughs> a guy's garage. <laughs> some dude's yeah, garage. real laboratory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, the score is tied three to three. Wow. Wow. Moving right along. Number five, dismembered. Mm. dismembered you got to think the implication here is that you take this stuff and you just start dismembering people i think i'm gonna go real mainly because i'm trying to will it into the universe to see what the label of this would look like dismembered is this a real or a fake pre-workout Davey? Uh, again with the um hypothetical line uh, this is fake dismembered is just uh, it's just a step too far. Come on. Dave says fake, and this is a fake no, pre-workout. No, I, I wanted to see I wanted to see a gorilla ripping someone apart on, on the cover of this. You could have gone off with the, the logo here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's it's a, a chimp. Just this is a free idea for uh, for Gaines Labs. <laughs> <laughs> America Labs. Okay. Let's move along. Okay. The next one is called Concealed Guns. With oh. a Z. Guns with a Z. Guns with a Z. Concealed Guns. Is this a real or a fake pre-workout? It's interesting because um, you'd think if you were on a pre-workout trying to get huge, you don't want your guns concealed. Sure. You know what I mean? So it's it's a little bit counterintuitive. I hear you. I hear Again, you. I'm, I'm overthinking the uh, yeah. pre-workout industry's marketing abilities, branding. Um, concealed I'm gonna, guns. I'm going to say this is real. I'm going real too. Concealed guns is a fake pre-workout. <laughs> that was one that I had the uh, the document open and he was doing it. And I was giggling at. That was a really funny one. <laughs> this one I, I knew I could trick both of y'all on. That's, that's exactly. I what thought I it was. I it thought should it be a real be, one. It should be real. The Z on the end is a nice touch from you. Like America Labs can make that one. Yeah, for yeah, sure, for sure. They should. Moving right along. Number seven, God of War. Has to be real. God of War. Has is this to be a real. real or a fake pre workout? God. I need this to be real because I want to see the uh, branding on it. God I'm waiting for one War. moment where Dave is just like, I, okay, so I, I, I actually take this one. I'm going real. And you say real as well? Yeah. God of War is a real yes. pre workout. Oh, fuck. Yes. That's, a, that's dope. Look at that Spartan. 
What? Yeah, what's going on here? This looks like it's for like uh, this. This looks like the people that made the Spawn movie decided to make a pre workout and use that as a label. High stem pre workout. I don't like it when my stem is not high. That's dope. I, I would I would buy that. You I, had to get really into three hundred to make pre workout. Like you had you had to like religiously do the workout. Well, because of good what's coming up. I, I believe this is by Centurion Labs. Mm, that sick. checks out. Checks out. Okay, moving right along to number eight. We have Jim Weed. <laughs> Jim Weed. Jim Weed. I'm going real. Is Jim Weed a real or fake pre-workout? <laughs> Are there any studies of what happens if you like smoke weed before lifting weights? I know Joe Rogan likes to get baked before he does kettlebell workouts. A few people like to get high before they work out. I'm Doesn't seem sure. fun to me. I can't imagine that would be a it promote, productive thing. Does it promote blood flow? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it would just make your heart rate spike a little bit. Jim Weed. Jim Weed. Jim Weed. Yeah, it's real. Again, I need this to be real. I feel like there's a a, a market to be cornered with the uh, the cannabis labeling. Real. You both say real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jim Weed is a real yes. pre workout. Oh, okay. what the heck? That's a give up. Okay. That's La a give up. The labeling is is pretty poor, and this comes in a can. I don't know if they have a powder. This one comes in a can. It's the candy shop <laughs> flavor. What is that? Candy shop like uh, in the theory has a shop. variety of flavors. Just all thrown into one can yeah. of adaptogenic. This is energy. one of those things that like a kid is gonna buy it one day, not realizing what it is, and be like, why why are my ears tingling and my heart's racing? The and website that social I found studies right now. The website that I found by the way, this is the one that the listener tipped me off to. They got me on the train. Jim Weed. Um on the website, it's it, it makes it very clear there's no THC in this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They could have made it even more clear by not putting the word weed into the title yes, of it. That also would have done the trick. Yeah. Okay, it is five to six. Dave has the lead currently. Number nine, demon cum. Okay. <laughs> demon cum. The cum from a demon. I had my eyes closed when you when it came up on the screen, and I just heard it out of your mouth, and was very happy to see. Is demon cum a real or a fake pre workout? It has to be fake, but I want it to be real, so I'm going real. Will says real, Dave. I can't. Cum. I can't imagine a world where this is real. I wish it was called demon cum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd have been better, right? No one. Um, <laughs> this has got. This has got to be fake. Again with the line. Come on, bros aren't bros aren't pulling this out of their bag in the locker room. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> no, that's the funniest part. Is imagining. Ima hey, dude, can I get a hit of that demon comb? Yo, you got that new comb, dude. You look great, man. Are you back on the comb? You say. You say fake. Yes. Yeah, demon comb is a fake pre workout. No, I, I really wanted it. I really um, wanted it. Fortunate. It I need. Be, it'd be a shame if we had to make a fake label for this. I, I want Ricky or somebody. Yeah. Somebody make a fake one. Okay, moving right along to number ten. What would that even look like? Go um, ahead. I think I know. Number ten is called Chad mode. <laughs> that yes, <laughs> Chad mode. Yeah, I like Chad mode. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up in Chad mode. Chad mode is Chad mode a real or a fake pre workout? Should well, we make Chad GPT? That's just a broy version of Chad GPT talking to you. By the way, Randy, the font you used for the pre workout it was a nice touch. That mm -hmm. is like what they all use. Is that the, the Mortal Kombat font? <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's the pre workout that's font. That's the finish hand. That's <laughs> <laughs> what they all use. Now, what was the dinosaur game that you uh God of War font. Remember the dinosaur game where you Primal Primal Rage. Primal Rage. That's got Primal yeah, Rage yeah, vibes yeah. for sure. Like Chad mode's real. It yeah, Chad mode's gotta be real. I'll be really upset if I don't get to see Chad mode. You both say real? Yeah. Chad mode is a real yes. free yep. workout. Bring, bring the, the thunder. Bring the thunder. What? Lemon maple cherry. I don't. The, those flavors just don't. That, I don't none don't, of like they I, don't go together. I, I read lemon maple and I was like, that's weird. And then I went maple cherry and I was like, this is even more weird. Can you zoom in on the D? In, in Chad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chad's you know, what's going D? oh, that is that Chad in the D? Yeah, I want to see what uh, what Chad. That's Chad. To. We found uh, Chad. Uh, also, it says it has no artificial flavors. That's I don't awesome. believe that. The nat natural lemon maple cherry is is in Chad mode, apparently. You know, a lot of times when I'm just you know pouring maple syrup on something, <laughs> I'm like, man, I could use a hint of lemon. Okay. okay. That, Ch yeah, Chad's got a looks like a mohawk. He's been mewing. Yeah, he's mewing hard. Mewing? Yeah. 
What is you're that? not mewing for your photos where you're looking super jacked. You, but you clench your jaw? What is it? Yeah, it's, it's you like, like put your tongue to the top of your mouth and it makes it so the muscle underneath your, your jaw. Classic Chad move. I've up. never done that. It's a Chad maneuver. I'm going to start trying it's it. It's what people, uh, you know, who, you know, it, like let's hypothetically say that I, if I shaved my beard, you know, my, my jawline would not be where it needs to be. I would, I would be served better by mewing. The score is eight to six. Dave has the lead. Okay. Comeback time. Number 11, Bax shots. I, uh, Bax shots. I don't even know. What, is Bax a thing that I should know about? You know what Bax shots are. I know. I'm, I'm, I think I'm aware of them. I'm new here. I'm not very online. All right. So <laughs> according to, I don't know, Urban Dictionary, a back shot is, uh, is a, a intercourse maneuver, uh, typically where the, the male is behind the female and she is uh, on her hands and knees. What's she uh, doing Some there? might call it doggy style. Ah, oh, because that's how dogs do it. Yeah, back shots, back shots. But this is a pre-workout. I don't know why you would think of B-A-X as a word, so I'm going real, because I think it exists. Okay, Dave, what do you think? Is back shots a real or fake pre-workout? Is, is this, a, is it, this is the one that gets is this, everybody. <laughs> is this also a play on like vax shots? Mm -hmm. Hard to say. This is the one that gets the uh, the congressional... Hearing the committee's <laughs> about to subpoena some CEOs. This is this is fake. There's no way it can't be allowed. You said real. I well, say no. Mm -hmm. Back shots is a real. Come on, pre workout. That's the idea. Look at this. Look at this grand this grandmother yeah, with his diced a, abs. Yeah, this grandma has a six pack in <laughs> arms to dream uh, over. What's I'm going gonna, on? I here? need to look this one up. Back shots. I what? Back shots. What's she doing here? That grandma is like the hardest grandma I've ever seen in my entire I life. I know. She just she does nothing but abs, apparently. What, Dave, I see you're on Reddit. Uh, are, yeah. there any, are there any people commenting on their experience with back shots? <laughs> <laughs> and this could get dicey. This subreddit, I don't. This is just a pre workout. You know, it's got it's got good reviews. Don't spend too much time on there. You might see. Some I know. Other I know. Ones. I'm sorry. I, I won't. Okay. I don't understand why the why there's like she's on a throne of skulls. Yeah, it's hard, it it hard looks, to say. It looks like she's vibing on a turtle shell. She's she's 75 years old. Yeah, and and she just for the, her. She's the queen. She's the queen of back shots. You would think that it'd show her back just like just you nope. know, yoked. You got to pay extra for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. She's got cool shades on, though. She's a back grandma. Should we move on to the next one? Number 12 is called Bloodbath. <laughs> okay. Bloodbath. It's definitely real. Got to be real. Is bloodbath a real or fake pre-workout name? I think the goal in a lot of these pre-workouts is to uh, increase blood flow to the muscles. You know, yeah. it's a good big part of it. So bloodbath, actually, you can tie that to to something. And I think this is on the right side of the hypothetical line. So give me real. You're really breaking this down. You got, I, I, you got, a, yeah. you got a method in your head. And you're sticking to it. That's right. It's proving to work. You said real? I said real. Bloodbath is a real pre-workout. It's from Insane Labs. Insane of Labs. Yep, yeah. It's well, the, be, the saw, oh, it's Saw, saw branded. It's saw that's branded, cool. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a good touch. I didn't know that <laughs> Saw had their. Uh, I didn't know they were licensing out the the name of the movie for pre workouts. It's a collab. Can we just have a company make one called like Circling Back, but like back like the guy on there just has like a shredded back? Circling back shots. Mm -hmm. Why don't you calm down? We just had a back shots. On no, that's our OnlyFans. OnlyFans dot com slash Circling Back Shots. Okay. These labs are truly insane. It's 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 anybody's ballgame at this point. It's nine to eight. It's high stem. Number thirteen <laughs> is called mass extinction. Mass X hyphen tinction. This is <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. This is. A, this I like is that mass is in all caps, <laughs> signaling that it's big. This is this is for stacking real. Yeah, mass, this, you're not looking to get shreddy for your no. spring break mm -hmm. trip. No, mm -hmm. this no. is bolt. This is for a bolt. This is a guy who's looking to get bloated. Mass extinction. Also, there's the implication that a lot of a lot of something is going to die here. Mm -hmm. You know, Muscle probably fibers. an entire species is going to get wiped out, just gone. Yeah, because because you're so huge. Right, right. Uh, I'm going real. Will says real on mass extinction. If this is fake, then this is uh, whoever came up with it. This is their best work because yeah. this, this one is this Th is a no brainer. It should be real. I think I think you're right. Like this is the best fake. If this is fake, it's the best fake one so far. Yeah, this is real. What do you say? Real. 
Mass Extinction is a fake pre-workout. It needs to be real. <laughs> it's it's really it. good. So Randy wrote out ex Mass Extinction, and I, I just changed the EX to a, an X there. It kind of made it, needed more, it. it more pre-workout. It's a nice touch. That was the it, most collab one that yeah. we did. It needed it. Yeah. We, we, we no, did, we did a good I job. can tell that there's a meeting of the minds around Mass Extinction. We did a good job I can already that tell one. it's like a dinosaur, like a meteor coming down as the label. And like it yeah. implies it gets you big, but also it gets you kind of ripped because it's extinct, you know, the fat. Sure. It's a good one. Sure. Mm -hmm. Something like that. That's yeah. really good. Uh, number 14, War Criminal. Okay. War Criminal. <laughs> Is War Criminal a real or a fake pre-workout? It's got to be fake. Okay. Is there one called Merchant of Death? <clears throat> I mean, God of Bro. War was real. Bro. Merchant of Death. That's a good one. Come by, Man. Come by my new pre-workout. Meet my friend, Slobodan Milosevic. <laughs> War Criminal. Is that a real or a fake pre-workout? Real. No, fake. I'm going fake. You know, history uh, typically doesn't look kindly upon war criminals. They're criminals during war. Yeah. Right. War crimes. Whole thing. Yeah. They've got, their says, own, they've got their own court. Will said this is a... What'd you say? Fake. Will said fake. This is... This is real because you just get so yoked up that you just you just become a war crime. You violate the Geneva It's like, dude, it's like mm -hmm. being that big is a war crime. <laughs> what you're doing in the gym mm -hmm. is a war crime. Like the fact that you are in there just like damn. throwing up that serious weight. Like this no. guy must be on that new war crime. We'll see you in the Hague, buddy. Yeah. Uh this one is a fake pre workout. Oh, come That's on. good. It needs to be. And that evens the score. It is now nine to nine. Ooh, how many left? We have four left. Okay. Okay. Moving right along. Number 15, insane asylum. Insane is spelled in apostrophe S-A-N-E. See, Dave, did they get two, did they get two in their bag making extinction and insane? Insane asylum. Is insane asylum a real or a fake pre-workout? I think it's real. You just have, you it makes you just go absolutely just. Off the deep end. We gotta get this, we gotta take this guy to the mental hospital. He's going too hard. Your muscle sick. fibers. It'd be sick to have a gym with padded walls. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, you don't know what's Yo. gonna go. You don't know what's going down. Yo, in this there. guy's going crazy. Uh -huh. you gotta keep He's it down. banging his head against the uh -huh. wall. Nuts. This is real. Put a straight jacket on this guy. You, you dry scoop this. Your muscle fibers are just going bonkers. Well, what'd you say? Just uh, real. Insane Asylum is a real pre workout. How do you not have a guy in a straight jacket on the front? Seriously, you have, huge like, missed opportunity. You need a jack dude on, in, a, in a straight jacket. But he's, you can also see his, his muscles through the straight jacket. He's so young. exactly. Maybe he's busting out of the straight jacket with his muscles. <laughs> Looks like this is from our good friends at Cell Shock Research. Research. <laughs> this is a little insensitive. <laughs> Insane asylum now in watermelon. Okay, <laughs> we have three left. I like that they went with the basic flavor. We're still tied. Watermelon. <laughs> Dude, a guy busting out of a straight jacket would have been so sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a nice, I, I think there's a skull on the side of this one, though. Hannibal so. Lecter mask. Okay, the next one. Ejaculoid. Okay. <laughs> ejaculoid. I am. Is ejaculoid a real or a fake pre workout? My muscles are coming. Bro, I can't. This didn't, is... didn't, didn't Arnold yeah. say that? He said it feels. He says it feels like, like a, it's better than coming or something. That's not a good Arnold. Says something like that. Just a yeah. Russian guy. Yeah, we need to work on our Arnold. So Is ejaculoid a real or a fake pre-workout? This might lose it for me long term, but I'm going real. I'm just hoping that ejaculoid exists in some fashion. Davy. Okay, so you have oid steroid. Eject. Eject you. Ejaculation. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. It's fake. No way. Get and the it fuck says out fake. Of here. It's just too far. Will said real. So this one is kind of a gray area. <laughs> Sounds um, like a white area. Because it, it I found it in a pre-workout on a free workout website. It can be taken as a pre-workout, but it's also like a boner situation. It's just it's a blood flow stimulant. Is what oh, it's is. just it's just for all natural male explosions. Yes, yes. Per so the, this is kind of a gray area. I'm. It's still a real one, obviously. This is a, from our friends at Goliath Labs. Yeah, all natural male explosions. <laughs> Sixty servings in that. That's a big bottle. Goliath famously died. Yeah, yeah. Like he's 
Yeah, like did he? Oh yeah. He, isn't like he that did. the all like that's just like he was an all time like muscle vanity muscle guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, just didn't have uh, he didn't have that dog in. No, him. yeah, not like David did. I read on Twitter the other day that the best place to uh, store um, the largest plates at the gym is on the leg press in the middle of the gym. People were just dogging on Zuck for uh, leg pressing, saying that anyone can leg press. People really go out of their way to dunk on Zuck, us included. It's easy to do. <laughs> it's All right, with two left, the score is Will 11, Dave 10. Oh. Okay, so I lost that one. Okay, yeah. that was, so it was real. <laughs> it okay. was real. It supports Wait, orgasms on. and supports volume. What you, do you think that means? It says all natural it's male explosions. Play. Yeah, yeah, they're male explosions that are all natural, Dave. This is I, I, I I'm not going to play the rest of this under protest, but I could. I, I, it's a gray area. It's fine. I, I hear you. It is real. A Jackie Lloyd. Okay, <laughs> we have two left. Number Cut. seventeen, homicidal intentions. <laughs> I'm going fake. Is homicidal intentions a real or fake pre-workout? Uh, we can't make we can't make light of. I mean, I know we've made light of other things and like you know cannibals and things like that, but homicide versus cannibalism seems it's interesting. The, interesting again, to me the where line you guys, that Dave brings up. You guys up. draw this line. It's interesting. Homic I'm saying homicidal I'm intentions is. is fake. This is fake. This is silly. Homicidal intentions is a fake pre-workout. Okay, final Jeez. one. Come on, guys, do better. Come on. Yeah. That was a terrible one from you two. Oh, come on. I'm just kidding. I'm Homicidal just kidding. intentions. All right, we have one left. And Dave is down one. Oh. The gulag. I, the gulag. This is a Randy play. Is this a real or a fake pre-workout? This is so Randy, it's not even funny. The gulag. Dude, that's where we always ended up when we played Correct. Call yeah. of Duty. Didn't they used to call you the gulag? Mm, that's good. That goo. Yeah. The goo yeah. log. Is this a real or a fake pre-workout? You should have spelt it with two O's. Or maybe that's just how the real one is spelled. I'm saying it's real. This is so fake. This is Randy did this and was so proud of himself. You say fake? It's fake. The goo log is a real oh. pre-workout. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was me. Nope. What? Wait, it's look, from, that's the same font that Randy used. It's from for the, Just Vibes. Like, what? The, what is not, this? Company? What vibe is that? They're, they are having a mate. It's, it's Tiger's well, the blood. The flavor is Tiger's Blood. Which what, that is doesn't good. tell you anything. What does it taste like? This is like this company has the biggest branding issue I've ever seen in my entire life. This is a mail in. These are not vibes. The Gulag. Do you have any reviews of the Gulag, Dave? They're out of the pineapple mango mimosa flavor. Oh, they have these colors don't run uh, flavor, which is their bomb pop yeah. flavor. Bomb pop and like gummy bear slash gummy worm are like the top. Is a bomb pop the red, white, and blue? Yeah, firecracker. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A couple, couple different things. All right, so Will's our winner. There you go. I didn't think I was going to have that. Dave would seem to be on fire. It says here that uh, Gulag pre workout is a solid choice for anyone seeking above average focus and mood elevation. It delivers these effects without making the user feel anxious or jittery. Okay. I don't believe it. I'm going to buy some Gulag. Again, uh, the, their whole selling point is that, like, yeah, this is kind of chill. But it, again, it's called Gulag. The Gulag. Something's yeah. gone horribly wrong if you end up there. Tiger blood. And that concludes Real or Fake Pre-Workouts. <laughs> oh, the audience loved it, Dylan. The audience loved I it. I had fun. The audience I loved it. I Randy that. had fun. That was fun for now too, because we have plenty enough that we still made that we didn't use. There's there are some really good ones left on the cutting room floor here too. Yeah, uh, Randy, I have something I'd like you to put on the screen. I don't know if you prepared it. Did you? Yeah. Yes, uh, I believe I did. Okay, I've slacked it to you in case we haven't. Uh, there's been a uh, there's a guy who's pretty down bad um, based on what I'm seeing here. Um, you know, people have one night stands. People go out make mistakes. People go out and do things. What do you? What would you do if you were walking down the road one day and you saw just a picture of your boy on a uh, on the side of like a power box or on a light post, and it said, "Ladies, PSA: Beware of this man." There's a picture of you, and it's just a picture of you, probably from a, a dating profile. It just says, "For non-consensual insemination during intercourse, cowardly ran off without getting Plan B and proceeded to go. Stay vigilant. Don't let this be you." Like, if this is your boy, are you calling him and being like, okay, first and foremost, stop doing that. Secondly, uh, there's photos of you all over this part of Brooklyn right now. No, you're just clowning him. Uh, and third, uh, like, you probably need to move. 
There's someone that has Whoa. seen this and works with this guy, right? Oh, yeah. Especially now that it's gone by. Randy, does this Boy, scare you? I know you like, got, I know you're respectful and stuff, but do you ever worry that like in the, the new world of dating that you're gonna be on some dating app and meet some girl and then you're gonna accidentally like like do something to her that you don't realize is that bad? Dude, there's sometimes that some girls just like screen record someone's hinge profile and put on it does well some if it's a funny profile or something. I might who knows? Maybe one time I'll just go viral for my hinge. Yeah, you probably will now that you own a sword. All right, well, I have my Doug Dimadome video on my hinge profile. You should have your Doug Dimadome. Do you have your Juby sliding on it? I do not. You only do one video. The top comment says she doesn't even know his name, which is funny. Yeah, that is kind of funny. Uh, it's I mean, what he did. It should be shamed. Uh, but what is it? Um, I like the idea of making this for like Randy. Like, be, ladies, PSA: Beware of this man. He has a sword in his bedroom. <laughs> I got a sword right here. This is the most like 2009 Facebook photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And then, Dave, we have another uh, story about men being dogs uh, out of I think Dallas. Is that a, a okay. zip a zip polo? Is it, I, I'm trying to. I'm really short-circuited by shirt, the shirt. The yeah. shirt is is awful. It appears to be zipper. This guy is so generically like some random stray dude that you've met at a bar a million times and like like just getting getting killed right he now. Cowardly ran off without getting a plan. Someone B. wrote in a, a next to it. He ugly. B. Like fifty bucks, right? Is Plan B like cheap now? Why are you looking at me? I think I'm it's so, like well, fifty bucks. <laughs> Fair. I think it's always been around fifty bucks. Uh, from what I've heard. I thought it was expensive back in the day. I don't know. I mean, fifty bucks when you know when you're in college is a lot of money. Yeah, I know. Just eating ramen noodles. I used to remember having like a hundred dollars in my bank account and just waiting for like Friday to hit so I could have another another hundred dollars in my bank account. So you could buy two Plan Bs. Yeah. So no. So I could, <laughs> so I could go buy the cheapest beer at the store. It's just so depressing. <laughs> so this dropped last week. Um, a British chef has become one of America's most talked about men after his wife. Claims that he ditched her and their kids before vanishing without a trace. And um, she went viral. And apparently this guy is a celeb chef of some sorts. His name uh, is Charles Withers. There's the post. Thank you, Randall. Um, Any relation? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Joe friends just feel about us. It's good. It's, it's the first thing I thought of. I can't hear the name Withers. I didn't even I didn't even meet her at Grand X, and I still just laugh about it. So she did a post, and then people saw it. She got interviewed by, a, I believe, like a Boston radio station. And within like 24 hours, people had tracked him down. They're like, oh, I went on a date with this guy. He's in Dallas. Apparently, he is cooking for uh, American film and uh, noted TV writer Taylor Sheridan. Okay. Of Yellowstone fame. Really? They spotted him in a video. Yeah. Um she wants to divorce him, and unfortunately, she cannot find him to serve him with said divorce papers. What the fuck? He's just gallivanting around. He just disappeared. What he a no, scumbag! He's ghosted on her, and when um, she was pregnant. Yeah, and apparently, he is just living it up in Dallas, just so out there. And I've he's, heard he's going by Charlie now. He's British and charming as fuck. He's a chef and probably working in the hospitality industry somewhere. He's probably never mentioned having a wife or kids back in Massachusetts. Yeah, there's apparently a big Facebook page uh, called Are We Dating the Same Guy? That's very active. And um, people were posting like, uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, I think we are. I think, well, we're not really, y'all aren't dating anymore. You're just married. Um, but yes, I, I have been dating this guy. The, the fact that websites like that exist, just sh like that alone just means that you should absolutely, like, guys, just don't cheat. I'm confused about You're going to get sniffed out. I'm confused about the timeline here because it says that he left when she was pregnant with their youngest, but they have two kids. She has a nut, one from a different marriage. It says two from the with, with the cook in okay. this article. Uh, I am confused. I am too. Hmm. Either way, uh, not good on this guy. You got to think – see, the fact that he's got a British accent makes it just yeah. way Ash dicier. Ashley, who has two kids with the cook, the son of a millionaire banker and blah, blah, blah. I'm confused. He was also on the 2022 edition of Chopped. Dude, Chopped is good. Chopped's a good show. I've probably seen this guy cook before. Yeah. Um, so this dude just bailed to Dallas. What an what a absolute piece of shit. She just wants to get divorced, bro. She can't even find him to serve him papers. Isn't, isn't him getting divorced right now? Like, that's a good thing for him right now. Like, Get those papers and get this over so with. Maybe, if you're just not going to do it. She wants some child support. Yeah, he's probably avoiding the, uh, yeah. the payout, the pending payout. 
Uh, this is true scum behavior. Wow. What a dick. Mm. But yeah, this guy was, <laughs> this guy is getting spotted everywhere. Uh, who is the dude from, uh, from New York that we posted the, uh, the, uh, the audacity of a straight fucking white man with the fucking mustache video. The audacity. Remember that guy? <laughs> He was getting poured out because wasn't he dating a bunch of chicks at once? He wasn't yep. married. Yep. But did they have Caleb? a fun? Yeah, was it was Caleb. Name, I think his name was Caleb. This is like from like three or four years ago. I forgot ago. about that. I don't even know how you just pulled that. It's a really good pull. Wow. Uh, we got some breaking news. Uh-oh. Mm. Um, Dylan, are you aware um, that your campaign has is going to be erecting a 65-foot-long hot dog in Times Square? On April 30th, two this weeks is, from tomorrow. This is news to me, Will. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah, I didn't know you had the funds freed up, but they're putting a 65-foot hot dog in uh, Times Square. Uh, it says that it's going to be an animatronic installation uh, that comes with hydraulics and bursts of confetti. That's a nice touch, Dylan. Why? It says it's, uh, it's, it's hot dog in the city consists of a colossal bun and a classic red-tinged frank topped with a drizzle of mustard. What's being promoted why'd you go, here? Why'd you go mustard? It's to all the, to all the ketchup lovers out there. Like, are you are you signaling something with that? I'm a sweet relish yellow mustard guy on my dogs. I got some Wickle relish recently. Excuse me? Wickle? Oh, Excuse me? Did you really? You from, are you familiar with Wickles? You wickle wickle relish? Wickles are spicy pickles. Oh. It's called a Wickle? Yeah. Like, as in Wicked? It's like a brand. Okay. It's like a brand called Wickle. But I was like, you know what? I'll try. I like these pickles enough that I think I'll try this relish. And I think I might be a relish guy for 2024. Relish is in. Are yeah. you in on that? I think I am. I, I've always been out on relish, but I think I might be in for a little bit. Give me that sweet, John. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Yeah. Congrats, though. That's big. This is a no, big thing. Again, I, I was, you're breaking news to me. I didn't know this was happening. It's very cool. Wow. Okay. Uh, can I give some other breaking news stories before we get out of here? Yeah. Uh, Willy Wonka, they're going to L.A. They've rented out a blank warehouse in uh, somewhere in L.A., and they're just putting up all the Willy Wonka stuff again. Okay. It's going to do well, too. Yeah. Oh, for sure it's going to do well. It's definitely going to do well. So wait, does the Unknown's game travel? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Do they, Do you get the actual Unknown, or do you hire an Unknown from L.A. to, See, to fill that role? You don't. You got to bring the original. There's only one Unknown, right? I suppose. He's mm -hmm. a evil candy maker who lives in the walls. It's weird. How terrifying. What a shitty life. I don't remember that from the movie. No, it wasn't in the movie. Yeah. It's the unknown. Oh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> he was so startled. Like, bro, this is your candy shop. It's the unknown. Uh, Ford has recalled several Broncos on the same day that OJ Simpson died. Rest in peace, Jews. Oh, yeah. You the only one you want to eulogize? Do you guys remember where you were? I don't, actually. I remember watching all the coverage, but I don't know where from. It was just last week. I was walking out of a dermatology appointment. Oh, I thought you meant when it, this actually happened back in 94 or whatever. Oh, uh, indeed. Yeah, I was walking out of my dermatology appointment, opened my phone and saw, I think I think it was in our uh, group text with Klein, uh, that, that he had passed. Did the Bills ever do a remembrance thing for him on Instagram or anything? I don't know why they wouldn't. Certainly well, uh, the, the a notable murders. player in their franchise history. The murders. Arguably their most notable. Um, given given our discussion surrounding the Dune popcorn bucket, I also think we need to talk about, uh, just real briefly, the Deadpool and Wolverine popcorn buckets, which are um, something. Perhaps hornier than the Equally the fuckable. Dune. I would say, yeah. I, that has to be Ryan Reynolds just going on the bandwagon with that. He's like, this is too funny not to do. Yeah. It's a great idea. Like the custom popcorn bucket thing is probably not going away at this point. Uh, they've, they've been around for a while, but yeah. like making them very sexualized is probably maybe going to. But isn't that like Deadpool's whole thing of yeah, being yeah. like the inappropriate the, yeah. super superhero? It's a comedy like rated R superhero movie stuff. So it makes sense there. But I think every like other design people are going to be like, all right, we got to make sure like people aren't going to make jokes about fucking these popcorn this buckets. This bucket isn't very... Uh... Put your hand in friendly. I don't know how this bucket actually works. Um, I guess you just unscrew the thing. And just dump it out? Yeah, I guess. For a player? Dump them out for a player, yeah. Here. And Randy, to answer your question, I don't think they're going to do like a special re-release Incredibles bucket. Okay? Elastigirl? Ooh, she, she mad thick. Tell me I'm wrong. Sickening. Yeah, didn't you, didn't you try to 3D print a Madam Web one? Yep. Is that true, Randy? <laughs> that is not Disgusting true. Disgusting behavior, Randy. <laughs> this is... I haven't been to a movie in a theater this in so like over two years now, and I think I need to rip the Band-Aid off and go see something. 
Dude, I think the oh, I saw Oppenheimer. Didn't you see Flower Moon too? I saw Flower Moon. I can't remember which was the last. The Oppenheimer bucket would go brazy if you really think about it. Would it be a bomb? <laughs> hmm. Man, it'd be good. He was kind of a scoundrel. Sure. Like, why don't you fucking calm down there, guy? Yeah. Why don't you stop fucking hooking up with everybody? Relax. The guy was fucking. He was. Yeah. I didn't see it. Well, it's a good movie. I like that Brett watched it for the first time on an airplane. Just one of the least airplane-friendly movies. Like, I, I, by all accounts that I've heard, uh, the, an airplane is probably the worst place to watch that movie from a sound and uh, visual perspective. It's one you want to really immerse yourself in and, mm -hmm. you know, not worry about the uh, the bolts on your Boeing just flying off. Nudity, too. I, I feel so weird watching anything with nudity on a plane. Florence Pugh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had to do the uh, the quick click out when I was watching Shogun during a certain scene. And I was like, okay, now the people next to me just think I'm the horny guy watching pornography on a plane. Oh, and it kind of comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that scene. Yeah. yeah whoa. Dude, that guy's built for living back in the day. Like, he didn't have the kind of diet to sustain those kind of gains. He didn't have, like... He didn't have any pre-workout. That's the only thing I was thinking. I was like, these guys haven't eaten like in the first episode. Yeah. Not and he to was, give any away, but I'm like, he's held this muscle for way too long. He's huge. He's huge. He would post a shredded pic of himself on Instagram. Unlike some people. Why don't you hard launch it? Are you going to pre-hard launch it? I'll let it? it fly at some point. Okay. Okay. I look too good in it. I'm sorry. You do? Sorry. You do. Should we get out of here? Yeah, it's time. It's been fun. Bye. We are coming. Day after day. We are coming.